All right, so we're going to leave Cove now. Um, coming out of the air, you just follow the route down through past the play area. We've just done all the filling up and stuff, ready for the journey. And as you get up to the main road, do a left. And I can't remember who it was, but I'll let you know in a minute. It's an R road. I can't remember where. Um, and you follow that R road round, which will get you out of Cove. Yeah, but I'll let you know. I'll put it on the screenshot in a minute, right on the screen. Because if you follow your sat nav and don't follow that R road, it take you sat nav will take you over the, through the country side, which is not very suitable for camper vans. All right, so we've just driven in through Skibbereen, the town, um, which you can park. I'll show you a minute along the road if you're lucky to find a spot. Or there's Lidl's, which is right through the town. Keep going right through the town, the other side. Um, there's the Lidl's, and we've managed to find a little parking spot at the end. Uh, we can stay for two, two hours as long as you shop in Lidl's, which is part of the policy that you have to be a shopper of Lidl's. We'll probably come back here and get some eggs or some milk and stuff from Lidl's on the way back. So the town's down the road here. And you can see there's lots of parking along the roads. Um, it is quite a busy place, and there's not many... Most of the peace signs that you see around have all got height barriers, so the Lidl's is quite handy. If you do come down, this is going straight into the main town centre here. It's quite a busy town centre, but there is a parking spot here, which is the super value, which you can get a van in, but this is the main street in Skibbereen. Um, lots of shops around Skibbereen, bakers, butchers, pubs, whatever you need, which is great. The reason why all the traffic you can see is the road ahead is closed, they're doing some roadworks, it's not usually as busy as what we've just seen. But all the traffic does go through here, all the lorries and everything else go through here. But it's a brilliant place to stop. So if you're going on the Wild Atlantic Way and you see the signs of Wild Atlantic Way, just carry on to Skibbereen instead. You can pop in here for your stop off and then from there you can carry on and get back onto the Wild Atlantic Way. And there is a heritage centre around here as well, which is worth popping in to have a look. Right, so from Skibbereen, we've been following the N71. We took the N71 as a quicker route, because we're losing a bit of time. Apologise for any wind in the background, can't do much about this. Um, but we're at Bantry Bay now. Now, this is one of the deepest bays in the world, very famous. And there's lots of songs about the Bantry Bay. And I'll show you where it parks in a minute, but if you come from our park, car parks around here, you can actually get a ferry. To Whitley Island, and there's your ferry and your timetables. If you can read that, rather than me reading it all that. And over the back here, following the, if you're following the actual main road, you can see over the back. I zoom in where we're camped. Well, camped, we parked over there. Just we're just stopping in for, for an hour, um, some shops further down into the town. But this is a, another area as well in Bantry. It's 10 euros for the night, so you can stay there. Uh, petrol garage is opposite if you need some petrol. There's toilets here and I'm pretty sure there's electric plugs. There's electric plugs there. Can't find anyone to ask but I'm pretty sure you can plug in so for 10 euros a night, electric cup and toilets, which isn't bad. So this is the main road N71 I'm videoing at the moment which we came down to get into this car park or air park um, and you come through in these barriers to pick up a ticket and here are the bit about the charges. Like I say, it's probably quite up the hotel. We're going to get in touch with them, find out a bit more about that because that's the first time we've seen that one up in the hotel. And we've let you know about the hotel. Um, it's a bit of information about the bay. See, it's, it's the deepest natural harbour in the world, stretching approximately 35 kilometres from northwest to southwest towards the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and it's very popular for the fishing and stuff. And if you're lucky, you find a fisherman, like we just did, he'd offer you some fish for free. So with this out Bantry, there is two toilets here. We haven't worked out how to get into them yet. I'll, I'll have a look into that. Um, there is toilet chemical empty facilities as well. Um, and that's as long, long with grey water. And like I say, electric hook up. Not bad for 10 euros a night. So this is the parking point that we're in um, for our bay. And as you can see, there's electric hook up at the ends. So I'm pretty sure you can just plug in and use these in is they're in the bays of every remote home point um, and there's a drinking water point there as well so everything you need for a stopover to pull your van out sort your van out and have a, a stopover for 10 euros so we just pulled up along the main road along going into Glen Gareth um, and there's loads of these parking bays along the way you can see 
um, and it's quite empty at the moment, maybe it's the time of year. Some beautiful houses, it's been a good drive over and um, we're just going to walk into the town, I'll show you what the town looks like. Uh, just in case I didn't pronounce the, right, the town right, it's the town name. So at the end of the town, where you can see this sign here, where it's signed to the cable cars. Um, you probably won't be able to see them, I don't know. But they're at the top there. And these are the only cable cars in Ireland. But so far, it's a nice little town. Lots of pubs. Lots of restaurants. There's another couple of little bistro restaurants here and a little shop. And if you don't want to park on the main road and you're happy to go and shop here, there's some bits of Irish clothing and stuff. And um, they have quite a big car park as well. We're going to pop in here, do a bit of shopping. I think it's called the KR Pass. We're on the, going over the mountain. We've got in now. Um, it takes us quite high up, as you can see, with the views. And this is going to go all the way over these mountains and then down into Killarney. Uh, oh, and you can see that the roads are much more narrow. Uh, you do have to like, you do have to like heights a bit. For this one. And it's a, quite a fun drive. It's a bit. Whoa! Look at that. Close your eyes on this bit. Not the driver. Video. Uh, this is one of the, the tunnels we have to go through. It's pitch black. Got the lights on full beam. Got to be careful we don't go too near the edges. Um, yeah. Quite an unusual one, especially when other people want to get through at the same time. And we have a few of them on the way down, as you can see, um, the route all the way down, down, down. It's a bit like being in, uh, going over the Pyrenees this bit, when we did the Pyrenees in, um, through France and Italy. valleys of the mountains we've just gone over and then the next mountains we, we're probably end up going over to get to Killarney. Ken Mare and I'm not, not sure whether you can stay, there's a few grounds over there that you can stay. But there's a couple of campsites around here um, that are open and they're quite nice campsites and they're within quite easy distance of this town. So it's the town, be a bit tired getting through it. Um, we don't actually go through the town, turn we right. turn right at the roundabout here, so don't go through the town. You can see it's a lovely town. Um, and if we find out if there's any free stopovers or something, I'll let you know. And if we find a stopping point, we'll stop and have a walk through the town.